Hi, my name is Darren Harris of the UK Wildwater Trust. We're at Kid really, uh, I'm doing a morning patrol, just checking uh, to see if there's any signs of otters. I've just looked over a fence about um, 100 metres away from the actual sign and uh, I've actually found a dead otter. It's a male, looks quite fresh, hasn't been hit long, it's definitely been hit by a car. His eye is still quite wet and juicy there on his nose. It's probably happened last night. And it probably is one of the otters that I've been filming. It's a male. We're just coming into December and um, we needed signs in the area. As you can see, we actually found a dead otter. It's a male. It was probably hit last night. It's still quite um, fresh. It's still quite fresh. It's quite soft. Rigor mortis hasn't really set in yet. Somebody's picked them up, obviously, and thrown them over a hedge. Probably is one of the otters that I'll be filming as well. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to phone the environment agency and we're going to uh, take it to them. Not the best start for a Sunday morning, unfortunately. There are signs in place. The signs can only inform. They're not going to protect the otters unless people care or take an interest. Okay, we've come to uh, Kid Whaley. We're going to have a look at some habitat and structure. And uh, I've actually found one of these otters. Uh, it's obviously been hit last night, early hours this morning. Uh, rigor mortis hasn't set in. It's um, it's a male. My estimate is it's probably about two years old. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit older. I don't think it's much more older than two. Uh, it's actually been hit and um, thrown on the side of the road. Uh, there's a bit of brown material at this location. I'm not sure if this is somebody's out of somebody's car or whatever, but it's funny how it's placed in this direction. Um, as you can see, it's uh, just off the road, within about 10 foot of the road. Um, the signs are actually 75 meters to 100 meters from this location. Okay, we're going to check this order over now. We're going to have a little look to see uh, if there's any other things we can tell off it. That's where his penis is, but there. Stomach, rib cage. You see his head, it's been hitting the head there. Definite. That's 100%. Uh, he's actually been hit over the back there for the looks of it. Uh, he's still in quite good condition, although he's dead. There's going to be samples and the tests done on this in Cardiff University. Poor creature. Doesn't seem to be underweight. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's five now within a year. This is not the start we wanted. It's the six orders now around Command and area that's been hit. Um, the good thing is we've got signs in the area. The signs have only gone up in the last three or four weeks. Um, do they help or don't they? Any information has got to help. But uh, if we're losing Orders in this area with the numbers that we're losing then it's going to have a dramatic effect on a connectivity of the reproduction if they're not able to meet up with females then uh, they're not going to they're not going to breed if they're not going to breed they're just going to die out uh, on
Uh, this is not uh, at the Kidwilly location. Uh, but the signs are well needed, as you can see. This is the future. This is the future of our water population. Uh, that's six now within a year. <laughs> Crazy.